in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed James 5:16. The Bible first starts from verse 13. It says, Is any man afflicted? When you are afflicted, it did not say run to neighbors who cannot help you and open up everything about your life and your family. No. Is anyone afflicted? It says, Let him pray. Even if you do not know what to do, start praying. It is in the prayer that direction comes. As they prayed, the Holy Ghost spoke and said, Separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Help that man. The anointing of the Spirit is upon him. You are stepping into a new dimension. Please help me with the Simba. I'm seeing a dove just come into this building. And I'm seeing 11 people. Please bring them out. Right now, as I'm speaking, right now, the power of God is coming on them. Bring them out right now 11 people a new dimension fire for prayer right to the back and the overflows it's time for the fountains to be open you call it a shift bring them by the power of the holy ghost Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me. Bring them out. Fill me up, God. Hallelujah. Now listen, listen, listen. The Lord is telling me, um, I want to release. Um, um, oh God, God is messing my sermon already. I'm about to release a grace for speed listen please hear me and as i pray this grace the power of god will come upon you it doesn't matter where you are and people will start running physically i want you to hold them so they don't injure themselves father i decree right now all over this place i bring an anointing move to a new dimension speed bring them out speed 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 speed, speed. 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 Step into a new level. Step into a new dimension. I bring you the ministry of the Holy Ghost. I bring you the ministry of the Holy Ghost. Fill me up till I overflow. It's a new season. Liberty Church. We are not teaching cunningly devised fables. These are realities in the spirit that men can transit to dimensions. Hallelujah. We are wrapping up. This is what you get in church. Hallelujah. David. I'm hearing the name David. Who is David? David. David, you are a photographer. David, who is that? Fill me up, God. Fill me up. You are stepping into a new level. Receive that anointing now. New dimension in the spirit. Fill me up, God. Baruta salatu shia la kata, e brendes te baruta siata. Listen, 
Listen, in all honesty, let me advise you. There is no point living after this service because there is still one more truth that I want to share with you. Is you came for a conference. Don't waste your time and waste your life so that you can receive something that will shift you. There are certain days in the lives of men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name. It's a Yoruba name. Dukbe. Who is Dukbe? Who is that? You are Dukbe. Come. Your life is about to change. What do you do? You work in this church. You are a staff in this church. Is that true? This is what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the realm of the spirit. And God himself is bringing you to a new season. In the name of Jesus, I declare, step into a new dimension by the spirit and the power of God. Hallelujah. Your mom is sick. Your mom is on the sick bed. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. Who is that? I'm seeing, I'm seeing uh, someone's mother. Um, who is that? An angel of the Lord is bringing me to this room. He's saying the person is here. Is there someone like that? Help her. The power of God is on her. Someone's mom here. Who is that, please? Where is she? So that we make sure that, please. Huh? Your mom. Where is she? Nigeria. You believe that Jesus can heal her? Never forget it. Here at Liberty Church, Jesus still heals. Here at Liberty Church, Jesus still lives. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your mom by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you, not just your mom, you. Come. We have to wrap up this service. What's your name? Who is Emmanuel? I'm Emmanuel. What's your name? Emmanuel. Please help us with the mic. Just, just a little volume, thank you. Emmanuel is the name. What do you do, sir? What do you have to do with money? I'm seeing... I'm seeing a machine that counts money, just spinning. I'm an accountant. Where? Bank, I work for Wells Fargo. It's true? He's an accountant. Sir, I'd like you to prepare. A lifting is coming for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, a lifting is coming for you. You're also Emmanuel. What do you do? You're a product designer and... It is not only a product designer, there is a call of God upon your life. My friend, God is going to use you mightily. There is a strong teaching grace and a strong prophetic grace. It will not come now, but it will come. And God will use you mightily. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Step into a new level and a new dimension in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Now, please, um, we have to, my God. Where did I stop? I was teaching, oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Bring a lady that shouts now under the anointing to the hearing of everybody. The power of God is coming on someone now. A loud shout. Bring her. Mighty God. The power of God is coming on someone. You are in real estate, but things have been tight. But I'm seeing an anointing coming on you now. It will not be more than two weeks before God begins to shift you. Bring that person now. Believe me. Listen. You see, before you believe a man, find out about him. I know that here and there the prophetic has been abused. I know that people have done a lot of nonsense. But listen, not everyone has bowed to Baal. There are people who have paid the price in the spirit and have a testimony from God. This woman is in real estate. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you in the open, in the presence of everybody. Shift to a new dimension of possibilities. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Dio. Dio. What do you do, sir? I want to pray for you. A big contract is coming for you. Make sure it does not distract you. In the name of Jesus, step into it by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. What do you do, sir? In the, 
in the name of Jesus, I avert evil from your life. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest they dip their hands in iniquity. I pray for you. You are exempted from evil. In the name of Jesus. Now, I set you free. Because what I see in the realm of the spirit would affect you seriously. But I bring you the ministry of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Okay. Praise the name of the Lord. Before we wrap up this service, right where you are, whatever you are trusting God for, you are tired of that level, I'm releasing my faith with you. Lift your voice now in one minute and ask. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Someone who is a believer, lift your voice. You will be surprised. Believe me. I'm releasing my faith with you. I release my faith with you. Lift your voice and ask. You will marvel and wonder at the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Lift your voice in one minute. Ask. I bring to you my secret place. I back you up in prayer by the power of covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. I back you up by the power of covenant, new dimensions, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please listen. I'm going to be sharing with you a very deep mystery in the next service. This mystery is responsible for the strange acceleration of many. Please, all through the remaining sessions of this conference, I'm told tomorrow is a miracle service. And I'm going to be prophesying and speaking over your life. Listen, I want you to invite your loved ones wherever they are, provided they are within this region. This is not just an issue of the Liberty Church. This is God visiting a territory. Are we together now? And we're going to be praying and speaking. We are going to be speaking to close doors and gates. Ephata. Opening them hither and theta. That's what is happening to that madam on green. I'm seeing a door open towards you. I open that door now in the name of Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Father, I stand in agreement with the angel over this commission. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that this is a new season for God's people. Young lady, look at me. This one. Lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus, there is an anointing coming on you. You will never be the same. We decree and declare for everyone who is present here, the overflow everywhere, be blessed in the name of Jesus. I bless you with hunger for spiritual things in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your prayer altar that as you begin fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh fire upon your prayer altar fresh fire upon your prayer altar the grace to pray the grace to travel I take away the weakness of the flesh I place upon you an anointing the grace to pray the grace to fast the grace to pray the grace to fast in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus let the name of the Lord be praised in the mighty name of Jesus Christ God bless you celebrate you will deliver you will bless let it be profitable, O oh God, that we came to your presence. Let no one leave untouched. Let no one leave the same. Let the Liberty Church step into new dimensions in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Whilst you're standing in one minute, just cry to the Lord. Ask him for a visitation. Lift your voice and pray. Someone is praying. All of the overflows, pray unto you that answer prayer shall all flesh come
to someone praying it's revealing his love it's revealing his grace hallelujah this conference among many things is proof of how far god intends to reach to make sure your life becomes a reflection of his glory i believe in the power of the holy spirit i believe in what he can do in the name of jesus i believe it we're going to sit down shortly but the power of god is coming on two people now as i'm speaking i just saw like an open heavens just give me a little volume you see many times when the spirit of god begins to move to touch people like this it is because he he is moving to honor the name of jesus this is why he does the things that he does are we together now two people Two people. Majesty, Majesty, Jesus, Kali Bataya, your grace has found me just as I am. Empty hand but a life in your hand. Sing majesty, yeah. Majesty. Majesty. Forever I am changed by your love. There is such, listen, take it higher. There is such, I don't know what is happening in this service, but there is such a strong anointing of the Holy Spirit. It says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. Listen, hear me, people of God. You are immersed under a strong unction. It doesn't matter where you are watching from. It doesn't matter which of the overflows. We're going to sit down shortly, but sometimes we need to allow the Holy Spirit to just have that convocation. He's just walking through your life, changing things from the front to the back, the left to the right. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, all the overflows, those watching from whatever nation, the Spirit of the living God, The spirit of the living God taking us to higher dimensions. Hallelujah. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit, he says. And it says where the spirit of the Lord is. That means you can know where the spirit of the Lord is. Why? Because there will be liberty. This is called the Liberty Church. So you know there is an attestation. No shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up. Coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down. Lie you won't tear down. Coming after me. Hallelujah. 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 Please be seated if you can. And just be sensitive because while I teach the spirit of the living God the spirit of the living God is going to be giving us visitations you came for a conference it is important 
that believers encounter the power and the glory and the grace of God because you call it a shift and a shift does not just happen because you desire one Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 1 he asked me to stand and I did not have the strength verse 2 says and the spirit entered into me and set me upon my feet this is what you get in church this is what you get in the house of God no wall you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me there's no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me that's how far you can reach for me there's no wall you won't kick down Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found. Come on, London, lift your voice. I couldn't earn it. I don't deserve it. Please be seated. Isaiah 60 and verse 1. Shalibra to scalibra. Now listen, while I teach, I sense in my spirit that more than just enlightenment, there is a grace that is going to be lifting people. Listen, please, I want you to find a way of believing that this is true. God, by this word, you see, the word of God can be spoken and the word of God can be sent. When the word of God is sent, it is a messenger. Like a tray, there is something it is carrying on it. It carries the possibilities of the Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is telling me to speak to someone. He says, remember not the former things. Listen. As I'm talking to you, the power of God will come upon those people. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, you are coming to the end of that season. That season of shame. Help them, please. That season of reproach. Hear me, I'm speaking to you by the rod of a higher priesthood. That you are coming to the end of that season. You are coming to the end of that season. Hallelujah. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Jesus. I don't know how this service will turn now. The hunger of a man can touch the heart of God. When people are hungry and desperate... There has to be a desperation in the heart of men. You must desire God in a way and a manner that nothing else can take your place. To feel the warmth of your embrace. That's the kind of hunger that calls his presence. Help me find a way. Will you bring me to you? Oh, you're all I want. Let that be your prayer, London. Help me know you are 
Let's sit down. Isaiah 60 and verse 1 says, Arise. It was not a suggestion. Arise, he says. Shine. For your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Amplified says, Arise from the depression and prostration that circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new light. Hallelujah. Arise. Because your light is come. The last service for those of you who were not around. Let me just do a quick recap. We were discussing that the glory of God. Please listen carefully. The glory of God is revealed as a confirmation that his patterns have been honored. God is a God of patterns. That means that when you walk with God. Please listen. When you walk with God, you are not at liberty to invent your strategy. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16, that you stand in the way and you search for the ancient part. It says when you find it, walk therein and you will find rest for your soul. Creativity is not required when you are walking with God. It is when you are manifesting the power of God. Kingdom legislature. That is when you will need creativity. The assignment is follow me and I will make you. Follow me. There is a predefined methodology. Please look at me. The kingdom of God operates on exact systems. God is a God of systems. And God is a God of patterns. Cain and Abel are about to offer sacrifices and then Cain offers his own sacrifice and it does not touch the heart of God. And Abel offers his sacrifice and Cain is angry. And then God speaking, paraphrasing, said if you followed patterns, it would be received. That means there is a pattern that controls wealth and abundance. There is a pattern that controls speed. There is a pattern that controls intimacy with God. God does not. God loves everybody, but he will not reveal himself to everybody. No. His presence is priceless and there is a condition. He says, he that obeys my command, he it is that loves me. And I will love him and the father will love him. And we will come and manifest ourselves to him. John 14, 21. So you can be born again. You can be a child of God and never be able to host certain superior dimensions of his presence. Because not everything in this kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. If everything were a gift, what then is the reward of obedience? Conditions. Deuteronomy chapter 1 says, It shall come to pass, if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, to do and observe all that I command you this day, then, 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 you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth, he says, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So this is very important for us to understand that as we desire to see the manifestation of the glory of God across different dimensions of our lives, we must hunger for the knowledge of his ways. And prophet Micah taught us that it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be exalted, established above all other mountains. And then he says that the nations will flow to it. They will tell themselves, come, let us go to the house of the Lord, to the God of Jacob. He says, and he will teach us his ways. The secrets of God are hidden in his ways. The Bible says in, I think, Habakkuk chapter 3 or so, he says that God descends from Mount Teman. And then he says that the light that proceeds from his hand Amplified says, in that light is the hiding place of his power. The power of God has a location. It hides in his light. So wherever the light of God is made manifest, his power also follows. The power of God is where the word of God is. Hmm. Is God blessing someone already? And so it means that if you are growing spiritually, captured in your experience must be 
an introduction of new dimensions of God, dimensions of his ways. Just because an information is spiritual and true does not mean it will bless you. You have to understand this. Truth must be sequentially arranged. I give you an instance. There is something that if you do not know before you learn about prosperity, it will destroy you. So it's not enough to just have random truth. No, they must be sequentially arranged. This beautiful structure is sequentially arranged. Are we together now? There is a foundation. The superstructure is lifted. There, it is the sequence that brings value to the building. Just because you have all the raw materials there does not mean you have a building. A chef can have all the ingredients for a meal, but it does not mean he has the meal. The chef is a chef because of his uncanny mastery. The ability to combine the ingredients with precision to produce predictable outcomes. So the Lord is bringing us to this point so that he will take away shadow boxing and guessing from our lives. So that we are no longer in the dark. We can predict things. I can know I will rise. I can know I will live long. I can know that no arrow that flies by day or night can touch me. I'm not hoping. He says, for I know whom I have believed. Listen, let me tell you. It is not, um, realities in the kingdom should not only be believed. There is an experience. You can taste and see that the Lord is good. Not only know. You can taste, there is an experience to it that your life becomes a living epistle and a fulgence of the possibilities of God. So that when you open the Bible, even when it is closed, it is still opened. You are now a continuation of what was written. So if I did not have my devotion in the morning, I don't feel bad when I see you. Now I can read scriptures through your life. You become a continuation of my devotion as I watch your life. Are we blessed? Jesus was teaching the disciples. He was introducing them to the kingdom. The kingdom talks about the governing influence of a king over a predefined territory. And remember in what we call the Lord's Prayer, when he was teaching, he said that we ask the Father to allow the kingdom to come. Thy kingdom come. How? By your will being done. So everywhere his will is being done, the kingdom comes. Are we blessed? Yeah. But that in establishing his kingdom, and rising from one level to the other, we will need to understand that we excel in this kingdom by light. Please say light. light. Spiritual illumination. This is very important. Paul was mentoring the church in Ephesus. And you must understand theologically speaking, it is believed that his epistle in Ephesus, his ministry in Ephesus was the apex of his apostolic ministry. Because at that time, Ephesus was a center of commerce, just like London. It was the financial hub of the then world. Are we together? And they were, they were a people who were very enlightened. They were not naive. They were not ignorant people. And they were under the leadership of a goddess called Diana. And so he was teaching them on the things of the kingdom. And then Paul prays a prayer in chapter 1, beginning from verse 15. For this cause I bow my knees, he says, to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Then he says, your heart being enlightened, amplified, says flooded with light, that you may know. The word know there is not awareness. It is the same word as being used a man knowing his wife. Fellowship with the mystery. Dominion, therefore, is not an impartation. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom. In Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11, Jesus was teaching and he said, It has been given to you. It has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. 
These are the secrets of the kingdom by which we reign. Listen, the saints were designed to rise and to manifest the power, the life, the glory, the grace of God on the strength of a body of knowledge that the Bible calls mysteries. Are we together? Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, the prophet was speaking by the spirit and he began to lament and he said, my people, although they are my people, the Bible says they are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. He says, because you have rejected knowledge, you will no longer be priest unto me. You cannot represent me because you do not have the requisite level of spiritual understanding to defend my interest. Hallelujah. And so we need to be equipped. We need to be equipped with the requisite level of spiritual knowledge. And the Bible says, I commend you to God. Apostle Paul is speaking, mentoring the church in Acts of the Apostles. I commend you to God, he says, and to the word of his grace. He says, which is able to build you up, number one. Number two, to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Then he says, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture, he says, which is able to make you wise unto salvation. Ephesians 4 18 having their understanding darkened being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them you must fight ignorance like cancer it destroys it can keep you in the dark are we together so we rise in this kingdom by light it takes more than desire to rise Please listen to me. It takes more than desire to capture the possibilities of the kingdom in your life. It will take more than a willing heart. It will take more than sincerity. The only dimension of growth that is natural is biological. Every other kind is engaged. Intellectual, engaged. Spiritual, engaged. Even a madman grows biologically speaking but if your intellect must grow you must engage it if your spirit man must grow you must engage it so we're gathered this afternoon within the time we have to share together this is a feast of light and it's important for you to understand that the things you are learning are not opinions it's dangerous to teach opinions because they are subject to an individual's experience they are subject to an individual's paradigm but the truths that we communicate have been vetted by god's integrity and backed by his own jealousy are we blessed So we began to explore the keys of the kingdom. And I shared with us that the, the kingdom of God is a compendium of limitless possibilities. And that it is not enough to know the possibilities that are enshrined in this kingdom. We must understand the spiritual systems that activate their operation. Are we together? Yes. You can have an iPad. It is true that you have a device that is capable of doing amazing things. Are we together? But having the requisite knowledge to operate it and maximize its use. Ephesians tells us that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And that that is routed through the office of the Christ. This is my definition of grace. Every good and perfect gift that comes from above routed through the office of the christ to the saints but it's not enough that these provisions are there we access them by light hallelujah so the laws of the kingdom become our weapons for victory in this in this domain of god's kingdom you are vulnerable you are limited and sincerely speaking you will fail fail in episodes until you have the requisite level of light. There are two reasons why Jesus cried in the Bible. The first reason why he cried was uh, when he stood before the grave of Lazarus. Remember? He wept, John eleven thirty five, 35. And they said, oh, how he loved him. The second reason why he cried was when he stood before Jerusalem. And the Bible says he wept and said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. He 
if you had known even in this your day the things that pertain to your peace but now they are hid from your eyes but the lord wants our eyes to be open to give us new vistas remember that when the spirit is poured on high we will see visions not just revelations but access to the mysteries of the kingdom the last service i taught on the first mystery a mystery is a body of knowledge that is privy to a group of people are we together now and i spoke about the mystery of prayer everybody please say prayer prayer is very powerful it sustains the ability to go beyond your present environment the only thing you can send to your future is your prayer it can go and wait for you your prayer can become your protocol it waits for you at the gates of your tomorrow it checks that tomorrow is ready for you and it if if it finds anything in your tomorrow that can sabotage the name of God in your life. It can deal with it while it waits for you with honor to come. Prayer is powerful. A weak man plus prayer is a warrior. A limited man plus prayer. Prayer makes anything. Um, good Bible study plus prayer will bring you the spirit of revelation business savvy plus prayer will bring you one whose wealth will remain a mystery to many prayer is an amplifier it does not reduce he spake a parable the bible says Luke 18 and verse 1 to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint an attack on your prayer life is a real attack you must guard your prayer life more than you guard jewelries you must guard your prayer life you have a garage for your car well done i commend you you have a beautiful wardrobe for your clothes well done i commend you show me where you protect your prayer life jealously there must be space as proof of the value you place on it are we together amen and amen prayer is powerful it makes weak people strong prayer transforms you like a snake molting you can molt into a new version of you that the fearful you can become the warrior you that the weak you can become the strong you that the 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 limited you can be the unlimited you and the bridge is prayer say in the name of jesus i obtain the grace to pray once you are a man, you are mandated by scripture to pray. Fathers, pray. Mothers, pray. Business people, pray. London, pray. The only thing that was attacked in Babylon was prayer. The prayer of Daniel frustrated the spirits, the territorial powers that operated around the second heavens and did not allow the council of darkness to prevail and a whole parliament came together respectfully speaking to address one issue in a man's life and they said don't pray for 30 days that's it imagine what happens in your life when you do not pray for 30 days i did say in the last service that prayer is the highest proof of humility is proof that you acknowledge that outside of the help of God you are nothing and remember the strength of God does not find strength when it finds strength it goes back the strength of God looks for the acknowledgement of weakness he told Apostle Paul that my strength is made perfect in your weakness when the strength of God comes and finds strength it goes back it is not needed until it finds an acknowledgement I need hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.